Hello Mayhem Makers, I'm Mindy with Quilting Mayhem and today I'm going to show you how to sew a simple mask. This is fabric that my lovely daughter Skye has selected and all we need is a square of cotton and a square of some flannel and then we're going to sew on uh, some bias strips for the ties. And you will find more information on instructions with cutting and how to put it together in our newsletter. We will add links and some extra tutorials on other styles of masks should you want a different kind. This one is nice. It has an opening in it so you can uh, put filters in it and change it and still wash the mask and keep reusing it. So we're going to show you how to put this together. So first we're going to take our cotton fabric and our flannel fabric. We're going to place them right sides together and we're just going to sew a seam all the way around, leave a three inch opening. That will make it so not only can you turn it, so it's right sides out, but it will actually be left as an opening so that you can put a filter in and out of it. So we're just gonna go to our machine and do our seam. It does ask you in the beginning of the instructions to make sure you do a tacking stitch or a back stitch. And then we're just gonna go around. What I love about this Bernina foot, this is the 97 foot, the quarter inch foot, it actually has markings. So I don't even have to stop. I'm just gonna go all the way around and it's gonna tell me where my quarter inch seam is. So as I go, I'm gonna line it up, stop. And because I have it in its hover function, which was one of the nicer features of the 790, is it will stop, it will hover, I can pivot, and then we keep on sewing. So then what we're gonna do is cut the corners so that we don't have any bulk in those corners once we turn it right side out. So you're gonna flip it, and give it a good press and then we're going to go to doing the marking for the pleats. So then what I did is I went and made markings at the one inch mark down the two sides where I'm going to put the pleats or the folds in and attach the straps for the mask. This way I can match and get nice even pleats. Just hang on. So then what I did that made it easy is I grabbed my handy wonder clips and I took and I matched those two marks, laid it on top of itself, put my little wonder clip and then matched and put my clip and matched, put my clip. After that, what I did is went and took it back to the machine and I basted after I matched both sides and got them all clipped. That way it was ready, the pleats were in place, and then I'll be able to attach my straps. So I've made my own bias tape to use for the straps. This is a nice benefit of being able to use the stash out of your home. You just cut a 36 inch length by two inches wide and then press some raw edges inside and iron it in half. I then found the middle of my strap and then clipped it in place to the middle of the mask using those wonder clips again. What's really nice with wonder clips in this project is because of its bulk, pins don't really like going through uh, the four to six layers that we have going through here. And then all I do is take it to my machine do a top stitch all the way down the strap from one end to the other and you're ready to use your mask. Once your straps are in place, you're ready to use your mask. Put your filter in with your opening and take it out so that you can wash it and keep using it over and over again. So go raid your stash, start getting those masks made and enjoy using them out to keep you safe and healthy. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram for more tutorials and to keep up with what's going on at Quilting Mayhem.